check out this slideshow. First off, we <laughs> arrived. We arrived in Las Vegas. We hit the tables. We played a little craps. You see us playing. We played some slots. And what happened? I hit the jackpot. I won $3,000 on the slots. Brian and I having the time of our lives. And we never felt like this before. So we decided to get some booze and really celebrate. So I went and I bought out the entire store, spent the whole 3K. Brian and I started getting our drink on. We started getting our drink on. And uh, things, we met Michael Jackson, of course. Brian kissed him. Uh, we had a great time. We did some dancing, a little light dancing, having a great night. Uh, we met a couple, a very nice couple. But things took an ugly turn when this couple asked us if we were interested in a soft swing. Brian and I, not swingers. Uh, I took offense to it. And this is where things kind of got ugly and the night really started to unfold. Brian and I decided, you know, best bet, get away from these swingers and hit the bar hard, which we did and Brian literally <laughs> hit the bar super hard. As you can see, Brian drinking right from the tap, just like uh, he did when he was a baby from his mother's breast, <laughs> drinking right from the tap, going right to the source. We made some friends, of course, these very nice women. There's the nice Shaniqua, uh, the, a very nice Veronica, a beautiful lady on the floor there. Uh, she, I don't know what's going on with her, but I'll tell you what, uh, Brian, uh, knowing CPR and being trained, decided that he would help out the young lady on the floor, make her not feel so uh, alone on the floor, and he decided to get down and dirty with her while I was making my moves on, <laughs> hey, you see, Brian. <laughs> Needless to say, I knew right then and there, Brian was ready to consummate the relationship. So we went back to the store. Brian obviously has never really seen my size, so we went and measured up to make sure that he knew what he was getting himself into, and of course, we got the right brand. Uh, we ended up getting it right, as you can see. I'd be afraid. The action went to the bedroom where Brian asked me, he said he likes it rough. I decided to give him a real punch in the face. And as you can see, a mean left hook to start out, Brian likes it rough. And watch what happens. Brian, I don't know if you recall this happening, but uh, of course I ended up really hitting him hard and Brian lost his tooth. Uh, Brian then began feeling <laughs> sick, and uh, you know, Faded Friday took an interesting turn uh, into the toilet where Brian was throwing up. As you can see, uh, Brian just. <laughs> and I knew right then and there that Brian, I had him in the palm of my hand. And this is where the action really gets good, folks. The relationship really starts to go to places. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you don't remember any of this, Brian? Not at all. Uh, of course, Brian passed out in the bed, but, you know, I was there to help him have sweet dreams. Uh, this little toy we bought, uh, not really safe for work to watch this. Just a little insertation to let Brian know that I care. And, of course, that was our faded Friday evening. Brian and Stu, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I am never hanging out with you guys outside of work again. I'm crying, but not from like enjoyment or laughter. I'm crying from embarrassment. I like, can't believe you took all those pictures. My question is, how did we take those pictures? The internet is forever. Yeah, <laughs> forever. That's going on YouTube, buddy.